Hello guys, and thank you for joining me in this basically is going to be a biblical video this time. We're going to jump right in and talk about atheist churches. So like I said guys, thank you once again for joining me at this. I just... <laughs> oh, okay. I'm laughing. I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't laugh because... Anyway, let's just jump right into this. So there's this whole thing called atheist churches. Apparently, this has been going on for the last seven years, and I've just missed it somehow. But YouTube was kind enough to send it to me. Um, so there is a concept that runs for the Bible, and I can't exactly find all the verses for it or anything like that. But there's a concept that runs for the Bible that even though you don't believe in God or you reject God or whatever, or whatever like that, you will still do the things that the Bible says are good to do. And you may even consider them good because God made like what, it, what the, the way the Bible says it is he's, he wrote his law on, on our hearts. So basically when we're born, we're born with the knowledge of the law, good and evil, right? And we're born with the knowledge of who God is in a very basic manner. Like maybe not Jesus per se, but we know that there is a God, that he is reaching out to us, things like that. We feel it, we see it in nature and all, in everything that goes on. All right. So to me, it is absolutely hilarious that atheists are going around having church. <laughs> Um, thank you for proving my religion correct once again. <laughs> um, if you watch, I've just got videos at the bottom where if you watch, they're singing songs, praising, um, like <laughs> evolution and, um, humanism and how great humanity is and everything. And they're following uh, the template, at least a very loose one, a, a loose one. I'll give you that it's loose, but of what God laid out for communal worship. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've heard atheists say, we don't need religion. We don't need anything that looks like religion, no religion. And now they're doing everything they can to mimic religion. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And, and, <laughs> and go through and they meet once or twice a week and they sing songs together. They hold hands and they, uh, uh, you should just watch the videos. Okay. You should just watch it. Um, I, per so I know I'm laughing, but personally it's because I love stuff like this. I, <laughs> I love it because every time I see it, it's like, okay, you could just, you could just follow the Bible. Look at this comment. This is even the best for me. <sighs> I love this idea. A few years ago, when I fully relinquished former Christian religion, I thought an atheist church would be great. I think it goes back to Nietzsche's sentiment, God is dead. We have killed him. Okay, now think about that. Think about this. This is another reason why I've told you guys that it's it's so... I don't, I don't respond to, like, atheist stuff because it's so... <laughs> One, you you go back and forth as an atheist. You don't know it. You, you have no idea. So you can't be relied upon to make any decisions about this because you don't know. You don't even know how to think about it because if God is dead, we have killed him. You don't need church. A church is a the gathering for a purpose of religion. It's for a religious purpose. It is a general word, but it is a general religious word. <laughs> okay. So if you killed them, you don't need it anymore. Oh, but listen to this. When religion and or faith in God is gone, a void is left. Of course, a void is left. You have said no to the creator of everything. Come on now. This, that should have told you something. And what will we do about it? Like it or not, faith and religion does serve a purpose in people's lives. The religion is the external, tangible expression of this purpose. Subjective to time, place, culture, environment, personality, preference, etc. I think it's fair to say for many that community and relationships can be a major part of this loss. And yes, for many, it is a source of moral compass as much as atheists hate to hear. Religious folks appeal to that idea. Like... You don't even have to be a Christian 
how do I say like, so to me, it's obvious that all religions are trying to get us to understand that there's something beyond what we can see. <clears throat> and we already know this science proves that there's lots going on that we cannot see. Religion was the first one to say that that happened. And all, almost all religions say that it's not just Christianity. It's just the idea religion, that idea is that we probably have a creator out there, or we most likely do. Well, now let me just go on the affirmative. We have a creator out there. Maybe there's multiple, maybe there's only one, okay, that made this thing structured the way it is because it has a structure, it has laws, it has rules, it has all this. And atheists are trying to be like, nah, that, none of that happened. You can't prove that. Okay, bro, whatever. You, you can sit there and say that if you want to. <laughs> you gonna go to church later? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just... The Bible... We are made for worship. The Bible says that. They're in there worshiping. They're, they outline it just like a church. They use the church model to do it. Hmm. I just thought this was hilarious. I cannot stop. I have been thinking about this for the past three days. It's because it's like, if I was an atheist, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to join around with other people who were, well, I shouldn't say when I was, or if I was, I would say when I was an atheist, I didn't gather with people based on my atheism. I gathered with people based on like comic books or, you know, other interests, cooking, things like that, because you didn't need that kind of thing. You're an atheist. You don't believe anything's out there. So what's, what's the point? What am I really getting from this? Nothing. When I hang out with people who like comic books, I have a good time because we're all talking about comic books. What they're doing is trying to have religion without God. And the Bible talks about that too. And how stupid it is and how you cannot have religion without God. Now, I don't know if this is still going on. Because like I said, this is actually... This video is actually like seven, eight years old, some of them, but I provided down there the links for you just so you can see it <laughs> because it's hilarious. All right. Until next time, guys. Bye.